Welcome back guys, this is the King of Weaves here and this is What If Naruto Was Betrayed Part 5 This is the true Part 5, last time it was Part 4 I just got really confused, I was really sleepy and I was really tired So, anyway, right now it's 12.50am uh, and I'm going to be recording till 2am So it's going to be an hour video as always And the last time it was like a 58 minute video but I got the um, thing wrong so <laughs> Uh, then I have to change it and apparently it was a 54 minute video not exactly an hour but if we talk about if we we're trying to make every video an hour altogether the past three parts have added up to three hours and a half so technically if we add them together it's still over four hours since we did four parts this is about to be f uh, part five this was meant to be a movie but of course I messed it up and I messed up because I realised that not even one arc took me an hour. So, unfortunately for me, um, if I was going to do a movie, it would take more than th five hours because um, I'm stupid anyway. Um, I had a writer's uh, block. I was stuck because I actually planned out my... Uh, the plot was planned out long before for part one on the first part of the what if but now that part two has begun i had to plot everything up to the war arc which i actually had so many ideas but they didn't work they just didn't work and i was really stupid because i never thought of what would happen in the war arc and i want to keep itachi alive which will mean that there will have to be some major changes to the storyline anyway I know I'm rambling a bit on but uh, some parts will be all over the place they will not like it will not be similar to the original maybe the ending will be a bit similar but of course uh, there is a lot of changes in the middle of the thing because I like to keep the ending the same or similar to the original because I really like the ending of Naruto I would never change that because Sasuke comes back and I really like adult Sasuke so <clears throat> um, I'm a fan of adult Sasuke not Sasuke in the war arc either I never really like Sasuke in Naruto I like him in Boruto though because he's respectful he's not gay and anyway let's get on to the part last time we left off with Naruto actually returning to the village and showing that Tsuki is strong but Naruto is stronger and kind of annihilating her but of course Naruto had a full day with her they kind of bonded together and they slept in the same bed and everything so they had their little lovebirds night not that way nothing or that they shouldn't have been doing maybe kissing but that's not too bad anyway so and I'm going. I'm not going to mention anything they do, even when they're they age anyway. So, and the next day, Naruto gets well. Naruto and Tsuki get called in. We've seen a sigh, a sigh. I said sigh, sigh, and uh, <clears throat> sigh. Naruto, Tsuki, and Kakashi get called in, and they're given a mission to rescue the Kazukage, the Kazukage rescue mission. And one more thing before we get into it, I. I've been trying my best not to stutter in videos. I hope you're all enjoying it because it's really hard for me since I'm not the best reader. Even if I read it, even if I practice it before, even if I rehearse it, I will always stutter. It's just something that has been implanted in me since birth. Even when I was in Italy, I always used to stutter in reading. I'm just not good at it. And Wattpad has actually really helped me because I'm reading quite a lot now. And it's helping me improve my reading and not stutter as much. Anyway... Let's continue. <clears throat> yes, I read a lot of Wattpad if no one knew. And I'm not going to make a Wattpad channel because I just realized it's kind of boring. Just reading it out loud and you guys just listening to it. Maybe you guys, some of you are into it, but I definitely ain't. <laughs> I know storytelling is something really nice. that I like listening to stories, but it's just that reading it and screen recording it was the point. And... If you guys just listen to me reading it and stuttering, you guys will never, uh, you guys won't get too much reading practice. And uh, I take school seriously, really seriously, in fact. And uh, I want all of you to practice a lot anyway, uh, because why not? 
and we need the future youtube is not something you can do unless you got like 1 million subs or something 10 million subs then it's literally a full time job because you earn 3k a vid a day or something anyway I rambled on for 5 minutes straight anyway so anywho we will continue the wife now and I will stop rambling on and I will not ramble on because it's 2am I was about to be uh, 2am by the time I finished this wife anyway on this part at least Naruto gets told that the Kazukage has been captured by the Akatsuki, which kind of angers Naruto, and Naruto clenches his fist, and his fist kind of bleeds, and uh, Sai and um, Tsuki see this, and Tsuki's like, Naruto, calm down, give me your hand, and Naruto's like, oh, oh, sorry, didn't notice, and Tsuki heals his hand real quick, and uh, while that was happening, uh, Sai asks some questions about, oh, uh, do do we know? Do we have any information about the two Akatsuki that, well, the Akatsuki members that have captured the Kazakage? And they say that one of them was sorcery of the Red Sand, according to his brother. And also, uh, Tsuki, you'll be going as well because you we, they <clears throat> the Sand has asked for a skilled healer because Kankuro, oh, Gara's brother has been poisoned and no one knows no one can find an antidote and he will die soon if we don't reach him and you don't make an antidote and uh, so Tsuki will, will play a real big role in this uh, arc so she's like yes uh, I will find I'll try my best and then Sai uh, is there is that so I was there called in and then uh, Tsunade is that you're part of team 7 and Naruto's like yeah Team 7 will always work together and Naruto has a pain smile in his face while giving a smile to Sai and he's like You're faking that spell Naruto Anyway, we should get going before the Kazukage gets sealed away From what I heard from some resources The Akatsuki tried to seal away the tail beast and if a Jinjuriki loses its tail beast they die don't they? Which makes Naruto realize how big of a deal this is it's even bigger than what he thought and Naruto's like hey Kuroma is there a way to get to Gara faster and Kuroma's like you yeah, I swear you left the contract seal on him and Naruto's like yeah but if I teleport there I don't know where I'm going to teleport everyone else what if we're in the hideout of the Akatsuki and Kuroma's like but you have me I'm more than enough to take them on but then Naruto's like but what if all of them are there? And what if I'm not? I, and remember, even if I have you, intel on ninjas is really important. If they have abilities that I've never seen or heard of before, we, we won't get a, <coughs> an easy fight. And Gara will get sealed away and they'll capture me as well. And, and <clears throat> of course, uh, Koroma agrees with this is that very true. Naruto, you're smart, but there isn't any time for this. We should just get going. I'm pretty sure we can get the Eternal Beast, even if they seal her away with 10 people, would at least take 10 uh, f three days at the maximum, or oh, um, maximum of a, a week to extract the Tail Beast. Unless you're, oh uh, well, extracting it and sealing at the same time. But if you're just extracting it from someone, it will take real <clears throat> no time at all. I'm not sure what the Katsuki will do, but it's better for you to go on uh, by yourself. And Naruto's like, God damn it, if only I knew, if only we could teleport to the sand. And then Naruto gets an idea, and he's like, Wait, there's no need to uh, go by foot. I actually left him a contract seal on Kankuro and Temari, the two sand siblings of Gara. Well, the two siblings of Gara. And so Naruto's like, Yo. <clears throat> Great thinking, Naruto. It was good that you left it. When did you even leave it? And Naruto's like, two years ago, when we actually thought, fought in the uh, attack on the Leaf Village, I left it on them. But anyway, we shall go. We should. We shall get going now. And Naruto's like, everyone, hold my shoulder. And Sai holds his shoulder. Tsuki actually holds his hand, and uh, Kakashi just holds Tsuki's. Uh, shoulder and they all get teleported to Temeri and Temeri's like hey what are you guys doing here 
uh, how did you get here? Uh, what the hell? You just teleported in front of me, and now it's like, wait, what? You're not in the sand village, and Tamar is like, why? Because Tamar was actually in the leaf village the other day, and she actually just uh, got out to go home, and now it explains everything real fast. And Tamar is like, wait, what? Gara has been captured, and yes, just like in the original, I'm pretty sure I haven't watched that uh, the. Kazakage retrieval, uh, the Kazakage rescue arc in a while, a few years to be honest, even though I watched the recent, recent, I, I skipped some parts, the boring parts, like, those little parts, I just watched the fights, because I really loved them anyway, well, no, wait, N not that way, like, the first time I actually watched Naruto, I watched everything, but that was years ago, and plus I watched the Kazakage um, rescue arc, when I was six, and I still remember it by memory, so, it's kind of impressive anyway. Naruto actually teleports to Kankuro. The Kankuro was actually um, resting because the uh, the medics were um, tired and they didn't have an antidote and they were struggling to find one. They were still trying, but it was so hard. And then Naruto and everyone teleported there. Naruto's like, "All right, Kuruma, is there a way we can heal him too?" And Kuruma's like, "It's better not. I'm not sure if I can heal him with my chakra. And what if we just hurt him even more?" Let's let Suki handle this. And Suki, in less than a day, even faster than Sakura, because she's more useful and she doesn't betray Naruto. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm kind of irritating you guys, I can't understand. Uh, you probably hate me for this far, I'm sorry. Fuck Sakura. Well, in this way. Anyway, you like my ASMR? Hope you do. I'm sick, right? I'm amazing. Anyway, I'm so sorry guys. I just had to make that. Anyway, Suki and Naruto, um, Naruto compliments Suki, saying, you're amazing, Suki. Uh, and Suki uh, blushes and says, listen, there's no time for compliments. We have to get to Na uh, Gara." And Naruto's like, you're right, sorry. <laughs> and this is serious. And Naruto's like, Kakashi-sensei, Sai, are you guys ready? And Kakashi-sensei, uh, Kakashi that way, what? And Sai's like, what? And Chiu actually walks in and says, I'll be going with you too. And she says that, um, blah, 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 that little conversation. And uh, Naruto actually looked at uh, Chiyo because he, he could feel that Chiyo was kind of skeptical about them, uh, them. And Naruto's like, how dare you think that we wouldn't help Gara? Gara's like a brother to me. Never think of that again. And Chiyo's like, wait, this guy can sense my feelings? Damn. And uh, Chiyo was confused at this. And then... Uh, she's like, just who are you to relate yourself to the Kazukage? And then uh, Kakashi says, Naruto knows how the Kazukage, f Gara, the Kazukage feels because he's a Jinjuriki himself. He was hated by his own village as well. In fact, he still is. And according to Gara, he was his first ever friend. And Chiyo understands that Naruto really cares about Gara, and she's happy that two different. V Shinobis from two different villages who are not even related think of them each other as brothers and they care about each other and she's changing a bit bit by bit and Naruto's like anyway you said you're coming too right and she was like yeah and Naruto asked may I know why you're reasoning and she was like you see sorcery of the red sand who attacked Kankuro he's my grand grand Grandson, right? Grandson. Hold up. Yeah, grandson. And Naruto's like, wait, what? Why is he rogue then? And, um, so, well, Sai's like, you can't ask them why he's rogue. Look, Sasuke and Sa Sasuke, Uchiha and Sakura, I don't know, gone rogue. And, <clears throat> bro, Sai was shot down straight away. Naruto just glares at him with the chroma eyes and he's like, never talk to him. Never. Never. I mean, never mention the name and <clears throat> chat shit. And <laughs> no, I'm joking. Never bad mouth my two friends. And uh, Sai was like, two friends. So they betrayed him. According to the Danzo, they betrayed him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And Naruto's like, or anyway, get ready. We'll be teleporting to, uh, to the Akatsuki hideout. It's been how many days? A day, right? Not even a day. A few hours, Garo should still be alive. And they're like, How do you know? And he's like, 
the Nantos told me that it takes quite a, uh, quite a few days for a gingery keys tail beast to be extracted and sealed away uh, wherever they seal it. But I'm, we're not sure about this, so we need to be quick. We'll be teleporting towards the Katsuki hideout straight away. And Kakashi said, This is too dangerous. What if there's too many? Now, to that, if there's too many, we'll just take Gara and run. It's a hit and run <coughs> mission, remember? And if they chase us, you guys will go and I'll take care of them with Chroma. And Tsuki said, Yeah, I'll help you too. And now, to that, no, you will run. If they chase us, I'll stay back and I'll try my best to keep them. For away from you guys if if push comes to shove i'll have to kill them without getting any into and uh, <clears throat> naruto's being serious about this he gave his plan and kakashi really couldn't say anything because it was their best uh, course of action because they don't know where their katsuki hideout is naruto cannot sense where it is well maybe he can but it'll take quite a few hours and they don't know if kara is getting sealed at this moment or it takes like four hours or something for all they know gara is already sealed and dead it might take a minute but it is what it is and not teleports to them and he says he sees gara getting gara's uh, well chakra getting extracted and he's like gara and sees two uh, well he sees multiple uh, shadows and one of the shadows is actually itachi uchiha which tsuki recognizes because uh, she can see itachi's sharing on and she's like brother and um, basically, the um, connection between all the um, Akatsuki is actually disto uh, disturbed, and uh, Gara's let down. And Gara's tail beast was like, not even a quarter, not even a fifth, around a tenth gone. So, Naruto catches Gara saying, Gara, Gara, are you okay, Gara? And uh, uh, what Naruto does is that he put, uh, well, uh, gives Gara a bit of chakra because getting a, even a little bit of your tail beast extracted will put you out for a few days at the very least and naruto gives a lot of his chakra and seeing, uh, sees gara wake up and naruto's like gara you okay that's good anyway who are these two gara you'll need to give us intel and the uh, gara's i'm not sure about that one but i know the one with the blonde hair he uses explosives and they're pretty strong don't underestimate them, Naruto. And Naruto said, like, I've been training for nearly three years for this moment. I'll take these two down. And everyone is there. Naruto doesn't really have to run from them. And this time, Sasori will have a, an easier time. Especially because Tsuki is stronger than Sakura. And Chiyo still is strong as ever. And now that he has his teammate, it will be easy on uh, Sasori, but at the same time, it will be hard on all of them because Naruto has the m has mastered his nine tools. Um, it's Suki who has the Monkeki Sharingan, the Susano. She actually has the Armored Susano, and uh, just saying her Armored Susano uh, abilities are actually not a spear. Is actually <clears throat> she has she has like a little sword. Well, not a little, it's pretty big. It's like the Totsuka Blade, it's just that it's, bas it's basically her White Amaterasu. And uh, it can seal. It's not as strong as a seal of uh, uh, of the Totsuka Blade. It can just seal temporarily, but mostly Chakra. So it can seal away people's Chakra so they can't use it for a day or two. And then uh, she has this... Uh, it's like the Yata Mirror, just that it's not the Yata Mirror. She can use it as a shield, but it's not as strong. And it doesn't block all techniques. It doesn't even block any. You can just tank it. But it can be destroyed, of course, if you're strong enough. You can just penetrate through it. If you're Naruto, that's it. That's what I mean. Uh, or maybe if you seal away Tsuki with the Totsuka Blade. Maybe. I'm not sure if the Totsuka Blade, since it's a spiritual sword, can it go through the Susano? Mm, we'll never know. Unless... Yeah, we'll never know anyway. So... <clears throat> Gara tells... Uh, Gara is like, Alright, everyone. I'll buff you up with my sand defense. I'll stay behind to... Uh, and, uh, I mean, Naruto... Well, Kakashi says... Naruto, Sas... I mean... Mm, Naruto, Gara, you guys stay back. You two are the top priorities to protect. You cannot fight here. Me, Tsuki, and Lady Chiyo will take care of them. And Naruto's like, are you mad? You never know what they can do. We don't have main, much information except for that. Uh, the blonde one being able to use uh, extremely strong explosives. And the uh, 
one the short one being able to use extremely strong poison which only Tsuki was able to heal and just seeing they have a few antidotes Naruto is actually immune to poison right now so it's fine uh, Gara will um, I'm not sure who's stronger uh, Deidara or <clears throat> Sorcery technically Deidara if you use this is C4, C4 and his final explosion thing and just like um, so it's kind of a one-sided fight if uh, Daydar just decides to explode himself. Maybe Sorcery can survive if he buries himself on the ground. Maybe, not sure. Anyway, so Sorcery uh, actually has to uh, get out of his little shell, and is that I guess I'll have to fight for real. There's two Jinjurikis against us, my grandma, and two Jonis from the Leaf Village. And just saying, Suki actually did make a name for herself. For becoming a master a, a sage a master of sage mode which not many people are only a few people are known to be masters of sage the sage of six paths jiraiya now naruto because um the, well they don't know about naruto they don't know about sasuke so jiraiya sasuke the <coughs> tsuki and uh, that's pretty much it yeah those three they don't know about naruto being a perfect sage so they're like all right i'm pretty sure we can take out uh, the Kakashi of the Sharing on together, but I'm not sure about the, uh, my grandma. She's someone who is tricky. She is an she is not an easy fight, even if she's old. She's going to be hard to destroy and take down. And the fight begins with Naruto actually saying, "Enough of rambling on. Let's begin this fight." And Naruto actually jumps up and throws multiple shuriken and kunai's and says. Shadow Shuriken, uh, Jutsu and Kunai Shadow Clone. Well, Kunai and Shadow uh, Kunai and Shuriken Shadow Clone, which they all multiply. And they actually hit one. Actually hits Deidara because Deidara wasn't able to dodge all of them. And he's like, "God damn it, you brat!" And once he takes off, he, um, a seal appears on his arm, and he's like, "What you want? What is this? It's like a seal? I can't feel anything." And Naruto's like, "You can't feel anything for now, but you'll feel pain." And he already uh, teleported towards him, and he has a Rasengan Shuriken ready, or like immediately. And Naruto's like, "I'll take you out, and we'll, I'll take you out in one blow." And Naruto's being pretty reckless because he's kind of pissed off that they actually tried to seal away Shukaku and kill his friend. And Naruto ain't gonna take that lightly. He's not gonna let that slide, and he kind of annihilates uh, Deidara. Actually, one shots him. Because remember, Deidara is nowhere near as strong as Kakuzu. There's no way. Kakuzu was actually one of the strongest of the Akatsuki. There is no way Kakuzu was able to survive Hashirama. Which, I don't understand how. Hashirama has the 1000... I'll say the, the Japanese name. Shinsu Senju. The, bro, 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 it's 1000 arms. Which was able to annihilate the majestic attire of the Susanoo. The Susanoo majestic attire. And... Bro, how, how did this man survive against the first Okage? That, that, that ain't no easy f f achievement, bro. If you survive against Hashirama, bro, you must be the god tier level fighter, fam. You must be a mother of fam, anyway. So, Naruto's like the mother against uh, Sasori and uh, Deidara. So, Deidara got one shot because there's no way of Deidara surviving an amped Naruto, a. A Naruto who's stronger, a Naruto who knows how to fold the Rosen Shuriken, because once Naruto knows how to fold the Rosen Shuriken, he's actually um, able to control Chakra from far distances and keep it uh, transformed. So, Naruto is actually way stronger than the original Naruto, so it's not gonna be an easy fight. It's not gonna be a walk in the park. For oh, wait, what? Jesus, that scared me. It's not gonna be an easy fight for the Akatsuki. So, Naruto's and like, okay, now you're next. And uh, then Naruto gets actually stopped by a Chiyo saying, I want to take the, take my grandson on. And uh, Naruto uh, can see that Chiyo is in pain because she's fighting her, her own grandson. And Naruto knows that if he had to fight his own grandson, it wouldn't be easy for him. So Naruto actually goes back and says, Remember, if you need our assistance, just ask for it. And Gio's like, 
no no need I'll fight to my death I mean I'm already one foot in the grave and Naruto's like don't be stupid you still have a long life you shouldn't give your life up that easily and Chio's like you really care about someone who was doubting you and doubting your friendship with Gara and Naruto's like even so you shouldn't talk about life so easily life isn't something that comes easily if you die you die you don't come back to life he's and you know that and she was like of course i know anyway let me begin and she gets out her seven legendary puppets or was it 11 i'm not sure and uh sorcery is that you old you old woman how do you how can you still even how can you even stand and uh <clears throat> she was like shut up you little brat you haven't changed a bit so how's your modification been sorcery and sorcery is that hmm why should i tell you weren't you against it and she was that oh well what should i say i mean it's been so long you're probably a full you're fully you're probably already a puppet by now hmm anyway Let's begin. And Sorcery actually gets out his 100 puppets, the 1000 puppets, which kind of intimidates uh, <clears throat> Chiyo, but she continues. And Chiyo actually kept going until all her 7 puppets were destroyed, and uh, there were only like 10 puppets left of Sorcery's, and Sorcery was one of them. So there were only 9, technically, which were easy to destroy, and Naruto's like, that's enough, old lady, you should get a rest. A woman your age did pretty well against a thousand puppets. We can't just stand back and see you die like this. And uh, even Gara came up to her and said, Lady Chiyo, I'm sorry, but we shall take this fight from here on out. Uh, you need to rest. You, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, but your age is really slowing you down against this. So Naruto said, Hmm. Hey, old lady. Would, would you want him to come back to the village? And uh, she was like, there's no way the village would accept him again. He's a part of the Akatsuki, a rogue ninja. And the well, Garo says, even so, Naruto was able to change me. I'm sure he can change him too. And of course, Naruto pulls out an arse pool. Yes, I had to do that. And... Uh, he actually talked on Jutsu's uh, <clears throat> sorcery after pummeling him, and uh, he says, "Come back, uh, go back to the Sand Village and become a Sand Shinobi again. You'll be forgiven for your sins, for your actions. Plus, you'll make your grandma happy. I'm sure your parents would be really, really happy if you stayed in the village instead of becoming an an Akatsuki member. Anyway, you can go." And uh, Sasori accepts the offer and also he knows about Naruto being in contact with the Sasuke. So, well, he used to be. And he says, do you know someone called Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruno? And Naruto's like, yes, may I know why you're asking? And he's like, he explains that he has a spy in, with Orochimaru and they always meet up with, he always meets up with Orochimaru at this bridge at this time. And uh, yeah. Um, each month and for information and Naruto's like thank you for the information you shall come with me right correct the next week and Sasori is like in my stay I won't be able to go especially since I'm injured and Naruto says you know you have the best healer in the <coughs> in all the nations right behind me right and he's like wait what and uh, Naruto explains that she's been trained by Tsunade herself and he believes she's a better healer than Tsunade now and w when he said that Tsunade in her own office she sneezed and says someone must be talking about me and she's in his night you shouldn't believe in those superstitions and uh, uh, Tsunade's like I don't believe in them the truth it's faith and she's in his night you know, they're still believing them in, right? <laughs> and Tsunade's a shark. And she continues her paperwork. So, Tsuki is like, 
uh, I'm not the best. Lady Tunard is way better than me. Anyway, let me heal you up. And in a few minutes, Sorcery is all back up. Is that? Wow. You're an amazing healer. You know that, right? And uh, Tuki's like, thank you. I've trained hard. And uh, then he's like, hmm. He reminded me of Sasuke, I've seen him once. And Naruto's like, yeah, because that's his sister. And he's like, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold up, wait. You have the Sharingan? And Tsuki activates the Sharingan saying, yeah, I do. And he's like, impressive. I never knew about this. Anyway, I shall come with you next week. We'll meet up at... Um, um, so... Technically, it is uh, in the middle, in the borderline of, well, near the borderline of the uh, nations. So, I'm not sure when we should meet up or what day. And not that I'll come and pick you up the day before. I'll pop by, okay? You go to the sand village and try to not scare people off. Uh, because you are a puppet after all. And Sasser is that. I'll try my best anyway. So they go back to the sand village. They teleport there. And Temari and Kankuro. Kankuro can actually walk now. Well, barely. They both hugs, uh, <coughs> hug uh, Gara and Gara's there. I'm sorry I worried you guys. And uh, Gara, of course, um, <laughs> tells the sand village that they have a new comrade, Sorcery of the Red Sand. And people are. They have mixed opinions about him they knew that he was a rogue ninja but some were happy because now the sand has a better military power well stronger power and some were like hmm he looks pretty good maybe he'll be handy for us and some people are like uh what if he kills us <laughs> and yeah so uh people did hear about him turning others into puppets and like oh what if he turns us into puppets it's kind of scared, and sorcery has to act real kind. So, sorcery is uh, uh, it's fine with the mixed emo emotions. I mean, it's my fault after all. And now to the next day, leaves with Team Seven. So I really didn't do anything in that mission, and he was more impressed that Naruto's talking no jutsu skills. And he's like, Naruto, you know something? Your speeches really change people. And uh, Naruto, uh, do they? Never really noticed, but I guess. They do, in a way, and uh, Tsuki is like, they definitely do, not in a way, they fully do, and Naruto's like, really, and uh, Tsuki is like, you just changed, you, first you changed Zabuza, then you changed Gara, and now you changed an Akatsuki member, so, and Naruto's like, not really, oh yeah, plus I have to go visit Haku, I wonder if he has a good girlfriend, yeah, and uh, Tsuki is like, yeah, he does, She's a beautiful girl. And Naruto's like, wait, what? Really? Let's go meet him. I'm going to tease him. And Naruto's like, <laughs> and Tsuki's like, but we have to give our report. And Naruto's like, can you do a Sai? And Sai's like, yeah, sure. And uh, Kakashi's like, wow. Still a little brat. And uh, Naruto and Tsuki actually go off. And they actually see Haku around with someone holding his arm. Yes. I'm giving a character development to a lot of people. Just saying Zabas are married. Yeah, so <laughs> Naruto actually sneaks up on Haku says and uh, just puts his arm around Haku and says so you mind mind introducing me to her and Haku says wait what uh, Naruto when are you when were you back uh, I heard rumors that you were back but couldn't find you and Naruto says I just came back from mission and just saying team guy wasn't uh, actually dispatched because. Um, <clears throat> Naruto and Tsuki and Kakashi and Sai are more than capable enough of enough to take out pff, pff, a lot of ninjas. Naruto is probably Naruto is Kage level because of KCM. Tsuki is Kage level. Uh, Kakashi, well, Tsuki is Kage level if she uses Susano or Sage mode. Uh, Kakashi is pretty much close up the Kage level because. He is known to be as strong as Tsunade, well, on the same, on par with Tsunade. Not in raw strength, but on par with Tsunade, at the very least, anyway. Not, uh, then Haku actually, uh, well, introduces them to, and her name is actually, 
Um, her name is actually I have to make the name up. But no, me. Anyway, they do the little meeting, and Naruto says, "Hey, Haku, look," and he creates his uh, little Rasengan, and well, not little. He, he, it's little for him because he can hold it with one hand, and he adds ice release to it. And Naruto says, like, "You see? Can you feel it?" And Haku's like, "So you did master the ice release jutsus?" And Naruto's like, "Yeah." And they're both smiling. And Naruto and Haku more like a, a more. They have more like a brother relationship just like uh, <coughs> Gara and Naruto so then Naruto says anyway I gotta go and Suki finally catches up to Naruto saying Naruto you're way too fast for me and Naruto's like oh sorry and uh, uh, Haku's is like oh so you want me to introduce you to my girlfriend but then you don't introduce me to yours and Naruto's like you know her and uh, <coughs> uh, Haku's like anyway I, I gotta go and of course, Naruto and Tsuki go and hang out. And Naruto really didn't have to train here. And same as Tsuki, because Naruto has the Rasen Shuriken. So technically, um, they were getting ready for their little mission. So the next week arrived Tsuki, Sai, Kakashi, uh, Sasori were ready. Also, well, Yamato wasn't really needed here. So it was just dumb lot. And Naruto was actually. Um, well, Naruto's team was actually dispatched, and on the way there, uh, Naruto and uh, the, his team were actually intercepted by Kisame and uh, <clears throat> uh, Itachi. Itachi actually put Naruto in a genjutsu and gave him a gift because he can see that Tsuki trusted him from the very beginning. Since he, when he did attack the village, Tsuki trusted him. She was with uh, uh, Naruto, and he can see that. Uh, Naruto is that the little connection between Tsuki and Sasuke since Sasuke and Tsuki were in the best one in the best relationships uh, Especially because he did hear about the Sasuke uh, um, leaving uh, well uh, deserting the village and Naruto and then so, uh, Itachi actually says Naruto Uzumaki well, The only thing I will I ask for you is to protect my younger s sister and please Please, that would make her sad. And Naruto's like, why well, would that make her sad? I mean, have you seen you? You broke her heart. You killed her parents. You killed your parents. And you're telling me not to make her sad? I know perfectly that I shouldn't say this. Since I don't know what really happened. But you should really explain to Tsuki what really happened. Tsuki has been training hard. She's become stronger. She's even strong as a Kage now. Just to, fi just to find out why you did it. And she only did this because she wants to know why. At least give her an explanation. And then uh, Itachi is like, you really want an explanation? Then so be it. And he actually let Suki in this uh, Genjutsu. Because he was keeping Suki in a different Genjutsu. While Kisama was taking care of Sai. Um, sorcery and uh, <clears throat> Kakashi and Kisame is like you traitor sorcery how dare you s uh, join the sand again and sorcery is like I don't care you're weak <laughs> no he's not weak and Tsuki uh, hears about everything that happened to uh, Itachi and Itachi is like meet me here just the two of you and I'll give you something Tsuki something that you'll appreciate I'm sorry for not telling you this before. And Naruto's like, hey, listen, if you try to kill Tsuki when we go there, I promise you, I give you my word. I will have no mercy and I will murder you myself. And <clears throat> Itachi knows perfectly that Naruto is capable of murdering uh, Sasuke, well, Itachi himself. Well, he can murder him easily. And just saying, Naruto has KCM now. So... Uh, there's no way of him uh, of uh, KCM two, not even KCM one. There's no way of Itachi beating him. Someone said that uh, I overestimated Itachi. I have not because I know how Itachi, how strong Itachi is, and I didn't say that he's stronger than Naruto in KCM. I only said he, maybe in Sage mode, Itachi would still well prime Itachi with the Totsuko blade and Yato mirror and everything. He'd be able to be a Sage mode Naruto because he can just seal him. He can just one shot Naruto. But 
<laughs> let's not get into that because I don't want to argue with anyone anyway. I don't like arguments unless it's with my friends and we're just having friendly arguments anyway. So, me and Sasuke, I mean, me, <laughs> not me, sorry, my bad. I'm getting so confused. It's really late right now. I want to go sleep. I want to finish this one hour video, edit it, and upload it tonight. So, one of the videos for today is done. So, Naruto and Tsuki get let out and they already know the location and what happens is that uh, Naruto and Tsuki will, will go secretly uh, without telling the uh, leaf well they will tell the Tsunade they won't tell any of their friends because they don't know what, how they will react if they will de uh, de they will say no to this because they don't want their opinion right now because they know what it's best for them for now and Tsunade will have to because Tsunade did promise Tsuki uh, this and so Naruto and Tsuki take care of the 30% uh, powered clone of uh, Itachi and then help out the uh, um, the other three take out well the, the other three actually were able to take out the 30% Kisame and they go off and in the end they do uh, no, well Orochimaru still finds out that uh, <clears throat> Sasori was actually setting up a, uh, a trap and then he sees that not only Naruto and Suki but also uh, <clears throat> Kakashi was there and he knew that and Sai as well and uh, Sai actually betrayed them you know the fake betrayal because he was ordered to kill Sasuke and in the end he finds Sasuke and Sasuke destroys the um, hideout same as uh, Sakura Sakura was was with in the same room as Sasuke I don't know what they were doing it was pretty dark so like I don't know and uh, I'm not gonna say and uh, Naruto comes rushing with Tsuki they actually teleport with the Kakashi well first they teleport to Kakashi then they teleport with Kakashi to well Kakashi and Sasori since they did split up uh, in two groups they uh, they all came to Sai's aid and the uh, Sai and they asked Sai what why what happened why did you uh, follow uh, why did you go with them and Sai told tells them that he was ordered by Danzo to kill them and Naruto's like I thought you were over with the Anbu and Sai uh, says I'm sorry I just it was just that I have to listen to him it's it's been implanted in my mind yeah so Naruto's like oh, I'll take care of this Danzo is Danzo is too dangerous he works in the dark and in his mind he can feel that Sai is actually sad because he did actually see Sai's little notebook about his brother and everything so he's like uh, Sai must have lived a sad life and then he sees Sasuke and Sakura Sasuke thinks he's actually stronger than Naruto because they both have Sage Mode so he doesn't know about, uh, know about KCM yet and he actually says Naruto, I guess you're here too and you, Tsuki and then Sakura just glares at Naruto and Tsuki and Tsuki glares back at her saying why are you looking at Naruto like that you traitor, backstabbing b-word and uh, Naruto's like Tsuki don't let your emotions, your anger get over you. There's no need to hate them. They've just been corrupted by Orochimaru. The, that snake. And Tsuki really wasn't ag was against Naruto's eye. Well, well, she wasn't against them. She was kind of pissed off at uh, uh, Sakura. Who actually helped, asked Naruto to help her. But in the end backstabbed him. And she was kind of pissed off at that, but in the end, but she can't, she couldn't really blame Naruto. It was just like that. So she really didn't have any say in how Naruto f thought. But anyway, Sasuke actually does try to get close to, uh, well, first Suki, and Naruto's like, don't even dare to touch her. And Sasuke's like, whoa, overprotective in that. She's my sister, you know. I could do anything you I, I want to her and puts uh, his sword to Naruto's neck and Naruto's like don't you even dare touch Suki ever again and uh, basically pulls Suki towards uh, him and uh, puts an arm in front of her and says you dare touch Suki and I will have no mercy up again uh, against you and you know, Sasuke's like do you really think you're better than me Naruto and Naruto's like I'm much better than you I'm stronger than you in all kind of ways 
even knew Sage Mode stands no chance against Toad Sage Mode, and not uh, and that kind of triggers uh, Sasuke, and Sasuke is like, I want to try it, and tries to stab Naruto with uh, his Chidori, already amped with Sage Mode, yes, Sasuke was uh, gathering Sage Mode at the same time, and uh, Naruto's like, do you really think that's gonna hurt me, Sasuke, and Sasuke can see Naruto being impaled, but then he poofs, and uh, Naruto's like, as I was saying, you should not fight us right now, and Naruto has a sword, uh, well, a kunai to Sasuke's neck, and Sasuke says, impressive Naruto, I guess you've gone more cold blooded right and Naruto's I'm not here to kill you Sasuke I'm here to take you back and you Sakura and basically gets impaled from the ground and Sakura had her both her arms well both her hands on the ground and Naruto gets impaled in, uh, but from the back and a spear of uh, <coughs> Well, a rod, not as, not as rod, more like a spear of um, of earth, actually uh, impaled Naruto, and Naruto's like, oh, not again. And uh, Itachi, I mean, uh, Sasuke's like, you deserve that scum. And tries to punch uh, Sa uh, well, Naruto in the gut where he got uh, impaled, and then Sai actually comes and stops it, says, you move one more inch and I'll cut your head off myself. And uh, basically, not a, uh, <clears throat> Sasuke pushed Sai away, and this uh, this kind of pissed off Naruto. And Naruto actually uh, uppercut Sasuke. Sasuke is like, you guys really want to start a fight against me? And Sasuke was in the middle of all four of them. So he had a disadvantage. But then uh, Orochimaru is like, Sasuke, you've had enough fun for today. We shall go now. You still need to train, right? You still want to be Itachi, right? And Sasuke is like, let's go. And uh, remember, Orochimaru didn't have his ha uh, arm sealed here. So he's actually strong. So Naruto, and Sa uh, Naruto was actually left with a hole in his chest, well, in his stomach again. And... Uh, uh, Suki, well, Tsuki was healing him, and she's like, every time you, we meet them, you always end up having a hole in you. And Naruto's like, are you assuming that <coughs> I'm weak? And uh, Tsuki's like, Don't, uh, do you really think I'd assume I'm weak? And I know uh, Sasuke really did nothing, but Sasuke was just here for intel. And Kakashi really couldn't do anything, because um, it was a fight against them. And he wanted to stop it, but of course... Naruto did say that they should do nothing except for him and Tsuki because um, it's between them because uh, even though Kakashi wanted to he did not say all right to it and just say Kakashi has the Kamui Kakashi trained with the Kamui he doesn't have the effect of uh, a normal Uchiha where he goes blind if you guys didn't know that because Ka 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 what was that what was that Kakashi can actually use the shark gun to an extent that he doesn't bleed from his eyes and doesn't go blind but he runs out he runs out of chakra pretty fast that's why he doesn't really use the kamui much but he uses the ability well the buffs the the <coughs> other effects of the mongekyo like the increased reaction time and everything so yeah kakashi is pretty strong here he's actually kage level well of course he's kage, kage level but he's much he's more like uh the pain arc kakashi because he trained with someone who's in Uchiha and has the Monkey Sharingan and he's really uh, he's really strong compared to uh, his uh, counterpart at this time of the story anyway they all go back and then they get the news of uh, well they get the news that well <laughs> sorry they get a notification well not notification they get notified that well Tsunade gets not I'm reading my script wrong I keep I keep scrolling and scrolling back up. I, I missed it four lines. What I meant is that Tsunade, I'm kind of frustrated. I always do this. Tsunade gets a notice from Team 10 that they need backup. And they are fighting Kakatsuki members. And Tsunade summons Naruto and Suki. Just them two. Well, also Kakashi. And uh, they say that Team 10, well, she, well, also Sai. And 
she says that Team Ten needs backup, and they're the fastest to get there. And Naruto did say uh, did put a. Uh, <clears throat> Remember, Naruto has a contract seal on all his, all his friends. He uh, and same as uh, Tsuki, so they teleport to Team Ten, and they're ready to fight. And this time, this is where Kakashi gets to shine. Kakashi takes. Uh, Kakashi is like, all right, uh, Naruto, Tsuki, Sai, you help out Asuma fight that one. And I told you, you know, you guys are injured. You stay back, okay? And Choji and Eno are like, sorry, we're not strong enough. And Naruto's like, it's not that you're not strong enough. Our Katsuki members aren't easy to beat, especially for us. We're not even joining yet. And uh, Tsuki's like, <clears throat> and she's like, and then Sai's like, listen, I'm a tuning. And Naruto's like, hey, listen, shush, we're still getting out here. And then, basically, Naruto, Tsuki, and uh, Sai actually help out uh, <coughs> Asuma, who still hasn't got cut yet. So, Sai, well, Asuma was about to get cut, but then Sai uses uses his Super V-Scroll, uh, who Sai actually learned how, well, learned how Tsuki and Naruto fight together, so, by now, and he is actually a good teammate for them, and he uses his Super V-Scroll to distract um, <clears throat> uh, he done and while th that was happening Kakashi was taken on uh, Kakuzu and Kakuzu already let out all his hearts and Naruto's like Kakashi sensei be careful that one's dangerous I can feel it and Kakashi's like I'm warm <laughs> he has five hearts of course he's dangerous he has all five chakra natures and Naruto's like alright Tsuki Sai I believe I should go help Kakashi sensei can you two handle this guy? And Asuma's, uh, Asuma and Shikamaru are actually fighting together. And uh, Shikamaru is like, Naruto, you really should go help Kakashi Sensei. We can handle this, right, guys? And they're like, yeah. And by this time, Choji recovered. And same as Ino. And Ino actually tried to use Band Transfer Jutsu, but uh, he done was just way too effed up in the mind. So she was too scared. And she had to stay back. Uh, and Choji is like, oh, God damn it, I can't get into the fight. If I get cut, I'll get killed. Because they already did find out. Well, Shikamaru actually did. Um, if he's intelligent enough to figure out that uh, he do not want the blood. Because he was always trying to. Just a little bit of blood. Because he's always just. Not even trying to kill them. Uh, he's just trying to cut them a bit. And he realizes that it must, to do, it must be to do with blood. Because if not, he do not would just go for the kill, wouldn't he? And uh, so he deduces, deduces that that's a big word. I never used really that word. He deduces that he does trying to get their blood. So they like he tells them not to get cut at all at any point of this fight. If they cut, get cut, uh, it's pretty much over for them. And while that was happening, Naruto and Kakashi tag team uh, Hidan, and Naruto and Kakashi are actually able to take out. Two hearts each. Well, Kakashi was actually uh, able to take out uh, the wind, the water, and uh, Naruto was t uh, took out the. <coughs> well, Naruto took out two of them, two of the side hearts, the same as Kakashi. But then in the end, they did a combo technique to take out the real Kakuzu. Naruto did the Rasengan, and. Uh, <coughs> Kakashi actually engulfed it with this Chidori lightning, and uh, Naruto's like, "Thank you, Kakashi Sensei. You want you want to see something cool? Thanks to your lightning, it's going to be real cool. You know that." And Kakashi's like, "Just throw it, Naruto. Let's see what happens." And Naruto throws it, and Kakashi's like, oh, "I gotta dodge." And basically, um, he just disappears mid air, and Kakashi's like, "Is that meant to be cool? Your Sengen disappearing?" And Naruto's like, "No, watch." And Kakos is like, are you trying to mock me, kid? And basically gets hit at the same time as he says kid. And a massive explosion happens and it's lightning uh, around. There's lightning. Well, it leaves an, an area of effect, AOE. 
and there's a ton of lightning in that little area well not little pretty big and Kakashi was like what the hell was that Naruto and Naruto's like if you had lightning release to her Sengon you can throw it and it, it becomes it's called the vanishing of Sengon it vanishes mid-air and you can hit the opponent that you actually throw it at and Kakashi's like oh that's why it disappeared so you can do it with the Rasen Shuriken and Naruto's like yeah I could but I just wanted to see how strong it would be with Yochidori well then uh, Kakashi is like, interesting anyway let's see how the others are doing and by this time uh, Hidon was actually buried alive by a plan made from Bashikumaru and everyone followed it and they were able to uh, bury him alive and uh, <laughs> Asumo was like they just spat on him for a minute as well he's like scum die and everyone starts laughing and they actually take Kakuzu's body back, body back to because remember, remember, a ninja's body holds many, 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 many secrets and jutsus. So they take uh, Kakuzu's main body back while Naruto carries it. And uh, while they were going, Tsuki and Naruto were left a bit behind. And Naruto's like, Tsuki, are you ready to tell uh, uh, Bachan uh, about? Itachi and Tsuki's like, yes, Naruto, I am. Anyway, not today though, the next day. Uh, because he did say in two weeks' time, right? It's only been a week. And uh, Naruto's like, yeah, true. And uh, while they were going, then Tsuki's like, anyway, Naruto, well, what should we eat today? And not that anything you make me. And Tsuki's like, no, I want to go out with you. And Naruto's like, on a date. And Tsuki's like, yeah, of course, we haven't been in one in two and a half years and Naruto's like yeah that's right let's go to Ichiraku ramen and Tsuki's like yeah we haven't been there in a while and uh, they planned a little date tonight and uh, Ino actually overheard this and she's like god damn it no Tsuki oh, has a boyfriend well, I'm, I'm stuck with this with this damn team Choji who just likes eating Shikamaru thinks everything is, everything is boring and just likes Shogi Asuma who just smokes, but he has a girlfriend. <coughs> Krona Sensei. Kashi who just likes his pervy books. And him. Hmm. Not seen him. Hmm. He might be interesting. And Sai looks back at, uh, you know, because he felt someone looking at her. You know, that one, that little feeling that you get when someone's looking at you and you're like, hey, bro, you looking at me or something. Yeah, I get that with my friends when they're looking at me, uh, at me when I'm walking in front of them. I'm like, Hey bro, you guys looking at me? And they're like, how are we not meant to look at you if you're in front of us? And I'm like, oh yeah, smart. <laughs> yeah, with my friends, I'm a completely different person. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a side for me I will never show you guys. It's kind of mad. I move mad with my friends, just saying. I move so mad. You don't understand. Like, the madness I move with my friends is a madness. Anyway, I hope you... Uh, so Sai looks back, um, looks back and smiles at Eno and Eno pff, is fully gone. She's like, ooh, that smile though. I want him. Anyway, so that's where I'm going to end it off. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please take care, stay safe. Also, subscribe to Retreat Miniman 1 3 and Miniman 1 3 on YouTube. Uh, also, go follow Shokiro, the artist who made my <coughs> YouTube channel profile picture. Uh, go follow him Ooh. on Instagram also uh, please like share and subscribe hope you all enjoyed this part and today was a really weird day I had to re-upload part 4 I really messed up luckily this recording is just one recording because the other recording that I did uh, I just had to cut it so many times so it like three parts three parts anyway Hope you all enjoyed it. Please take care, stay safe. This was the King of Weebs here. And I hope you all have a, an amazing night, day, morning, afternoon. I don't know where you are. Whatever you are, I hope you have an amazing time. Fantastic time. Anyways, my Weeb Nightlings, take care. I shall edit this video, export it, and go sleep. And make a thumbnail, of course. Peace.